or something like that if y'all run there? We don't go out west. It is forced dispatch. Like, if we have a northeast load for you, we can't be like, oh, he doesn't like going to the northeast because, like, really, no one likes going to the northeast. So we have to be fair with everybody. Mm -hmm. So, yes, it is forced dispatch. How many how many miles your drivers are averaging a week, you know? Um, last I looked at it, the whole fleet's averaging about 27, 28, but that's like half the guys or maybe a third of the guys don't really care, so we keep them at 2,500. And Hello. Yeah, who is this? All Hi. right. How you doing? This is uh Sean. We uh we spoke in the um in the uh messenger. Facebook. Yeah, Facebook Messenger. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, how you doing? All right, I'm doing fine. I'm doing fine. So Good. uh what's what's the name of the company? Downey Trucking. Downey Trucking. Where are you guys located at? Where do you know where Bowling Green, Kentucky is? Sure do. We're about twenty miles west of it. Oh, okay, 20 miles west of Bowling Green, Kentucky. Okay, okay. That's what's up. All right, so I I, I see y'all posts. Uh, very interesting. Uh, so if you don't mind, you know, I, I got some questions, just like all the guys that's mm -hmm. in the that's in the Facebook uh uh, sure. uh group. Um so how much experience do you guys require? Um, we like at least two years. You have at least two years. I got seven, but yes, two okay. years. Okay, yeah, you're fine. Yeah. Okay, okay. Um, with with that said, uh, two years. If somebody haven't been driving, well, let's say somebody have their CDLs for a hot minute, uh, and they haven't been driving. Do you guys have some way for the driver to, you know, to get a refresher course with you guys or no? Uh, we don't have the way to get a refresher course. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, I'll, we look at the um, the last three years verified driving and our insurance is okay if there's a lap. Um, the owner usually does a road test and you do some backing and like, you know, half hour road test and show them how you back and if that looks okay then you know and your MBR looks good of course um but okay. i mean have okay. you been out of the truck for a while no 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 i was just you know i, I was just asking generally uh i'm right now i'm currently driving right now so yeah i've been driving for the for the last uh seven years that i've been driving uh, now you mentioned the owner. So, how small is this company? We have uh, fourteen drivers right now. Oh, okay, okay. And and he's getting some new trucks in. We've got our we got our third new truck in this week. So we're taking the drivers who have been here a while and switching them over. Awesome. And, um, filling their trucks. Yeah. Okay. What um, what what what. What are you guys' lanes, and and do you guys do like runs in in Canada? We don't do Canada. Mm -hmm. um, what we run is pretty well east of the uh, I thirty five. Like if you drew a line straight through Kansas, we pretty just run all over this side. Don't do a lot of out west stuff. You know, being a smaller company, mm -hmm. you know, we got a lot of customer freight. We, you know. We have a lot of customers that send us their freight a couple weeks out, and we, you know, right. coordinate picking that stuff up. And um, we don't do New York City. Um, we don't do a lot of hazmat. If you're non-hazmat, you don't do much. If you have your hazmat, we don't do a lot of Northeast, I mean. Unless you have hazmat, you do a little more. Okay. But um, any East Coast, we do, like, um, if you're not hazmat, we've got a Cranberry, New Jersey run. That's a customer load. We drop the loaded trailer up there, hooked to the empty, head to uh, your next load, and it's a 24-hour situation. You know, if you do okay, happen I, to get up there through the night. I can do that. And, um, so I, I can do that. Yeah, but I, yeah I'm, not, I'm not a fan mm -hmm. of the Northeast. But, yeah, dropping hooks? Yeah. Yeah, I can do that. Go up yeah. there, take a trailer, yeah. drop it, and bring it back. I'm good with that one. <laughs> yeah, well, you have to you have to go to your shipper, which is probably like a broker load on that part of it. But right. we deal with a lot of the same brokers, you know. 
so that's good. That we don't deal with idiots or anything for the most part. But, gotcha. Um, okay. So, okay. Pre um, pre employment. You, you know. Oh, uh, pre pre employment drug screening, uh, hair follicles, mm-hmm. or urine, or both. Urine. Urine. Okay. What about uh? Now you mentioned every you mentioned everything else. Let's get into the uh, let's get into the mileage pay. What's what's what what do you guys mm-hmm. pay per mile? Um. You would start at fifty five a mile. That's the highest starting pay right now. And they've mm-hmm. been giving a one, one cent increases each year. Um and you get six cents extra mile on any East Coast run, extra four cents a mile if you get hazmat on a loaded has miles. Um okay, and you, you know get what? more cents per mile on short runs. You know what? My my brain just took a took a brain fart for a hot second. I, I missed mm-hmm. what you just said. How much how much we we, we get paid okay. a mile? Fifty five cents. Oh, fifty five. And then cent. an extra. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 Uh, for somebody for somebody like me that got seven years, uh, would I yeah. still start at fifty five cent, or can I negotiate more? Um. Well, that's the way the owners got it in place. Is less than five years is less than fifty five cents. Like if someone had three years, they might start at like fifty two cents or something. But mm-hmm. he's he's kind of set it up for five years plus experience starting at fifty five. Okay. 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 What kind of uh, what kind of equipment now in the in the Facebook? Uh, I I went and checked it out. I've seen some uh, seen some of the pictures. It looked like you guys is running Peterbilts. No, we've got uh, Kenworth and Freightliners. We don't have any Peterbilts. Okay, it just looked like a Peterbilt, like a long nose Peterbilt on one on the one picture. We had. We do have a couple of uh, long noses, which I didn't put them on the recent act because we don't have them avail- any of them open anymore. But, um, okay. yeah, the W900, those are Kenworths. But they, yeah, I like the old school look there. But the, the others, just regular Kenworths, Freightliner. we got a T680, a Freightliner Coronado, um, T660, T600. Okay. Automatic friendly over there? We don't have any automatic Ooh. right now. Okay. Yeah. Now you sounded like now now you probably might be a company that uh that a driver friend of mine might be definitely interested in because he hates driving uh, okay. autos. But I'll definitely pass yeah. the information on to him though, for real, for real. Okay. Um okay. All right. what, what are what are what are your trucks governing that? Seventy. Okay, okay. Uh driver cams inside the trucks. Outward facing. Okay, that's that good. That's a that's a deal breaker for most drivers too. You know, they they do not like front facing cameras. Uh, mm-hmm. What about amenities in the truck, like uh, inverters, refrigerators? Um, that depends on what truck you get into. Um, half of them do have the fridge as par apu and then the older the t600s with the rebuilt detroit's we've got a couple of those and they don't have any of that stuff but we could look into um i was thinking we need to at least get um one of those really the t600s do not have the fridges or inverters oh, okay 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 uh but the others do do you guys uh being that i i guess since this is like a small uh mom and pop style company do you guys do you guys offer any type of leasing or anything like that or no not at this time okay okay is he forced dispatch i mean i know you said we don't do no lows up in uh up in the northeast or anything like that but are are we are we forced to go to like places like california or something like that if y'all run there we don't go out west. It is forced dispatch. Like, if we have a northeast load for you, we can't be like, oh, he doesn't like going to the northeast because, like, really, no one likes going to the northeast. So we have to be fair with everybody. Mm-hmm. So, yes, it is forced dispatch. How many How many miles your drivers are averaging a week, you know? Um, last I looked at it, the whole fleet's averaging about 27, 28, but that's like half the guys or maybe a third of the guys don't really care. So we keep them at 2,500 and then the rest of the guys want 3,000 every week as much as possible. 
Oh, okay. So, awesome. you know, we keep an, keep an eye on that stuff. Now, but, yeah, if you want miles, no problem, you know. Okay. Now, I'm from Ohio, of course, the next state over. Uh, how's mm-hmm. my home time looking? Can I can I get home every every week? And what I mean by every week, mm-hmm. can I get home by every weekend, meaning Friday, Saturday, Sunday off, and then come back on uh, Monday? You would be home every weekend, but it wouldn't be like a, you know, if you want 48-hour weekends, we can put you on for those, but we can't guarantee you're going to be home by Friday. You're going to leave out, you know what I mean? It's a 48-hour weekend. You get in, you know what I mean? I got you. I got you. can't, like, schedule it to the wire like that. Got you. Would I be able to take the truck home? Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Uh. Pet and rider mm-hmm. policy, and how young can I bring my rider? Um, we do have a rider policy. Um, we just need to know if they're younger than 18 to get in touch with our insurance about it, but it's not an issue. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, SAP, do you guys accept SAP drivers? Um, it depends on what the drug was. And if, you know, if, I don't know if you've completed or, but if you're still like getting through every, however often it is, you know, you just have to pay for that drug testing. All right. What about, a, what, what I, I, I see that you guys offer a $1,500 sign on bonus. How is it paid out? It's um, after two months, you get half of it on a check, and then they just give you like an extra hundred on your weekly paycheck until it's paid out. And of course, like the last one would be like fifty bucks or something, whatever it is left. Ugh, that's like that, that. That's not a bonus. That's an incentive. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you shouldn't come to work here for the bonus. That's like the whole point. It's just a little cherry on top, you know. If people don't want the job, then they shouldn't work here. Exactly. Exactly. Well, Casey, thank you very much. I, it's Bye. a lot. It's it's a lot to take in. Thank you very much. I um I do appreciate the time and 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 the conversation. I will definitely share this uh back with my Facebook group. But uh, but okay, thank great. you though. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you so much, Lawrence. I appreciate it. Not a problem, ma'am. All right. All right. Okay. So we are um, yes, yes. Downey Trucking yes. Inc. out of well 20, 20 minutes from what she say, Bowling Green, Kentucky. What'd you say? I said what she say, Bowling Green, Kentucky. 20 minutes. Bowling Green, Kentucky. Yep. 20 minutes. Yep. Bowling Green, Kentucky. Yep. yep. All right. So uh uh, anonymous man, what what do you think? What 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 do you think of uh of that company that call? I mean, they seem like they're you know seem like they're pretty good. Seem like they're pretty fair. I mean, the pay is kind of low. I mean, um, you know, I made that as a new driver, fifty five cents a mile as a new driver. Mm-hmm. So that was that was like the only issue that I saw. But you know, they give drivers the miles that they want. They probably need to go up on the cents per mile or, you know, fees and drivers. Now, you know? I agree with you. Yes. Uh, 55 mm-hmm. cent uh, for a driver, you know, they got more than five years. I mean, I, I'm, I'm coming up on eight. So, I mean, mm-hmm. you know, 55 cent. Um, but with the incentives that she said, uh, an extra mm-hmm. six cent mm-hmm. if you do... Uh, if you do certain mm-hmm. areas and uh, no, five uh-huh. cent if you do certain areas, and if you have your hazmat, you're getting extra six cent. So, I mean, oh, okay. with the, with okay. the incentives, if you have your hazmat, you know, you'll you'll definitely make a little more. Uh, she said make the more, av- yeah. Yeah. she said the average miles that the drivers are doing is about. 2500 so i you know your take home will probably still be a thousand plus you know take home i'm talking plus. net yeah right 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 but yeah. i i agree with you yes you know 55 cent a little low you know but they're looking for they're looking for veteran drivers of two years or more what do you what do you think about that 
Well, you know, I think that's good. I mean, that ensures that they, you know, have less, less you know, incidents. They want to find responsible drivers, you know, they want to find. So, you know. All right. So I think that's really good. Yeah. So after hearing that conversation and let's just say that you did, let's just say that you that you have uh, mm-hmm. uh, the two years of experience. Would Downey uh-huh. Trucking out of uh, out of Kentucky would be a company that you you know you you you'll call and 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 give a chance? What? Yeah, I think so because especially because of the fact that they don't they don't even have a lot of accounts in the Northeast. So basically, kind of running the South. It seems like you know now, and they don't go west either. Now it's unfortunate that. You know, you, you know, you, they're not automatic friendly. So they, yeah. they, they run all manual. So would that be an incentive for not only you, but for any other driver that has an automatic restriction on their license to at least go back and try to get that lifted? Yes, definitely. Definitely. Yes. Cause, um, that's something that I've been thinking about is definitely going to try to um, try to test out so that get that restriction lifted. Okay. Okay. Well, that's right. what's up, man. Downing Trucking out of Kentucky. Yeah. They're about 20 minutes, uh, 20 minutes away from uh, Bowling Green, Kentucky. They have a $1,500 sign-on bonus, which is paid out kind of sucky. But well, that's all right. Well, but that I mean, it, well, yeah, it sounds no. good. But just like the just like the recruiter says, you're not coming over there for the sign on bonus. I mean, if you really want to work, right? You know, some of the, now right. some of these now some of these crappy head drivers out here just they just bounce from place to place just because of the sign on bonus. But what they're saying, right? If you that's coming true. over there to work, then the sign on bonus really shouldn't be. Uh, shouldn't be a shouldn't be a problem how it's paid out no no not really it's fifteen hundred dollars so i mean you'll see it you know you'll see the the benefit of it you know you'll see it so it sounds pretty good Good. all right all right guys well that's our that's our take on downing trucking out of kentucky if you guys are interested the information for them will be in the description below who's next next